Ever stared at this frustrating error message on your iPhone? Storage full. <sighs> Again, I'm about to share my top strategies for freeing up space on both your iPhone and iCloud so this annoying notification becomes a thing of the past. Don't blink. These tips could save you hundreds of dollars yearly on unnecessary storage upgrades. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this one. First, let's tackle why your iPhone keeps running out of space. The reality, your device has fixed storage, whatever size you purchase. That's why you're, what you're basically stuck with. This is where iCloud enters the picture. Think of iCloud as Apple's storage extension system. But here's the thing, it's not just some optional add-on. While iCloud isn't exactly the best cloud storage out there, it's deeply woven into practically everything your iPhone does. Your messages, photos app, data, passwords, notes, reminders, they're all automatically tied to iCloud. Even if you're running Google Drive and Dropbox, you can't completely escape iCloud as an iPhone user. Apple tosses you five gigabytes for free, which let's be honest, it's laughably small these days. Sure, they offer paid plans to a massive 12 terabytes, which technically solves all your problems, right? Except maybe you don't wanna hand over more money to Apple every month. Maybe you're already paying for another cloud service and don't need another subscription eating into your budget. Maybe you have privacy concerns or simply don't wanna be locked deeper into Apple's ecosystem. No worries. There's plenty you and I can do without opening our wallets for more iCloud space. Now that you understand the storage situation, let's explore some smarter options. We'll start by optimizing your iPhone storage and then tackle that iCloud situation. But first, let me grab some coffee. Speaking of coffee, I'm basically fueled by it daily, and after struggling to find consistently great beans, my partner and I founded Coffeeness to create the perfect chocolatey espresso blend. We've tested this blend in over 100 machines to make it perfect. Take a look at our overflowing storage rooms right here with all the machines. From high-end manual espresso machines, like this beauty here, to Breville or Sage semi-automatics, or maybe you're the super automatic guy and you prefer a Dura machine, like this one here. Or the budget models from DeLonghi that works also perfectly with our espresso. It delivers exceptional results every single time. Wonderful. We personally visit our partner farms in Brazil every year, sourcing 100% Arabica beans through direct trade relationships. And each small batch is freshly roasted in Brooklyn, resulting in a medium strength espresso with delightful chocolate and hazelnut notes. Our customers love it too, with hundreds of five-star reviews on our website and Trustpilot. One reviewer wrote, great beans for my super auto with smooth crema as in a coffee bar in Italy. Lovely to hear that. Use the coupon code CLOUDWORDS for 5% off your first order and European viewers visit our EU store for beans roasted in Frankfurt and US viewers head to coffiness.com for Brooklyn roasted beans. All the links are in the description box below. And now, Back to today's video. Let's dive into clearing your iPhone storage. First step, we need to see exactly what's hogging all that space. Head to settings, then general, and tap iPhone storage. Give it a moment to calculate and you'll see a color-coded breakdown of your storage usage. No surprises here, apps and photos are usually the biggest culprits. Take a quick look at this breakdown. Understanding what's causing your storage is crucial to fix the problem. Now, before you start randomly deleting things like a digital Marie Kondo, let's be strategic about this. Apple actually provides some built-in recommendations to help. Look just below the storage bar and you'll see recommendations. These personalized suggestions can get you immediate results. Let's run through these recommendations. First up, Offload unused apps. This feature is a gem because it removes apps you rarely touch, but keeps all their data. Perfect for those travel apps you only use once a year, but don't want to completely delete. Another common recommendation is remove older downloads. This targets media apps like podcasts, Netflix, or Spotify. I had 
episodes of my favorite podcast automatically downloading and they were eating up a ridiculous amount of space. I'm talking gigabytes here. Enabling the setting keeps only the five most recent episodes of, of each show, clearing out the older ones you've likely already consumed, or let's be real, you might never get to them anyway. You might also spot auto-delete old conversations and review large attachments. These target your messages app and we'll circle back to that in a moment. Now let's tackle photos typically the number one space hog on most iPhones. First quick win, check your recently deleted album. Tap photos, scroll down to utilities and tap recently deleted. These photos are literally just sitting there taking up space for 30 days after deletion. If you're certain you don't need them, tap select, then the three dots, then delete all, then delete from all devices to immediately reclaim that space. While you're in the Utilities section, check the Duplicates album, which automatically identifies identical photos you can safely remove. You can also locate receipts, screenshots, and QR codes, helping you identify snaps that are just digital clutter at this point. Next, let's hit Messages. The text messages themselves barely take up space, but those attachments? They're storage vampires. Every photo, video, GIF, voice memo you receive stays on your phone forever unless you change one important setting. Go to Settings, tap Messages, scroll to Message History, and change Keep Messages from Forever to 30 days or one year. Your iPhone will ask if you want to delete older messages, confirm by tapping Delete. Now, let's talk about that mysterious system data category in your storage breakdown. If you're wondering what that actually is, well, you're not alone. Basically, it includes cached data, temporary files, and system level stuff. While some is necessary, it can sometimes balloon way beyond what's reasonable. One quick fix is to reduce system data is clearing your Safari browsing data. Open Safari, tap the bookmark icon, then the clock icon for history, and tap clear at the bottom. Choose all history for maximum space savings. This wipes out browsing history, cache files, and cookies all at once. If you've tried everything and are still fighting with stubborn system data that won't budge, there's one nuclear option, the complete reset and restore. First, make sure everything is backed up to iCloud, Go to Settings, tap your name, select iCloud, then iCloud Backup, turn it on if needed, and tap Backup Now. Remember, Backup or Packup. Once your backup completes, go to Settings, General, scroll to Transfer, or Reset iPhone. Tap Erase All Content and Settings, then Continue, then Erase iPhone and let it reset. Don't pack. All your data is safely stored in iCloud, provided you've done your backups. After the reset, follow the setup prompts as if setting up a new device, choose Restore from iCloud Backup, and select your most recent backup. This process often clears out stubborn system data that really nothing else can touch. Of course, you'll need available iCloud space to back up your files before removing them from your iPhone. But what happens when your iCloud storage is really maxed out? Let's tackle that one next. Apple's 5 gigabytes free iCloud storage is frustratingly stingy compared to competitors like Filin and Mega that offer 20 gigabytes of free storage. But before you upgrade to a paid plan, let's see what we can do with what we have. First, let's identify exactly what's filling your iCloud. Go to Settings, tap your name at the top, then iCloud, and select Storage. Here's your breakdown of what's consuming your precious space. For most users, three categories dominate. Photos, backups, and messages. Let's tackle each one. Starting with backups, which often devours a huge chunk of iCloud space. Tap on backups, then select your iPhone, and you'll see a list of apps being backed up to iCloud. Here's something most people miss. You might be backing up apps unnecessarily. Look through this list and toggle off any apps that already store their data in their own cloud. For example, Spotify already keeps your playlists and settings in their cloud. No need to duplicate that in iCloud. Now, for iCloud Photos, probably your biggest storage drain. And if you're using the default iCloud photo setup, every single photo and video automatically uploads to iCloud. It's convenient, but also a space killer. You have options here. First, tap on Review Your Photos and Videos in the iCloud Photos section for 
Apple's suggestions about deleting duplicates, screenshots, and videos you no longer need. Alternatively, consider using a different service for photo backup. You can install Google Photos, enable backup, and then safely delete photos from your iPhone once they're backed up. For videos specifically, which are absolute storage hogs, this can be a game changer. Personally, I use a hybrid approach. Uh, recent photos stay in iCloud Photos for like seamless access across my Apple devices, while older photos get archived to Google Photos or Sync.com for long-term storage. Best of both worlds, quick access to recent memories, and secure storage for the archives. And here's another critical tip many users miss. Check for forgotten device backups. Every Apple device signed into your iCloud account creates its own backup, and they're all competing for the same storage space. Go to Settings, iCloud Storage, and tap Backups. You might be shocked to find backups for devices you don't even own anymore. For any device you no longer use, tap on it and select Turn Off and Delete from iCloud at the bottom, then Confirm. Those old iPad backups from three generations ago, gone. Remember, just because iCloud is built into iOS doesn't mean you have to use it for everything. It's perfectly fine to use iCloud for what it does best, keeping your iPhone backed up and essential data in sync while strategically using alternatives for the heavy lifting. For photos, Typically your biggest storage hog, Google Photos offers a solid automatic backup feature. Once your photos are safely stored there, you can remove them from your iPhone and iCloud to basically free up massive amounts of space. If security is your priority, Sync.com offers stronger protection on all plans, automatic photo uploading, and no file size limits on uploads or downloads. For media content like music and videos, pCloud stands out with its built-in media player that streams your content without downloading it first, saving precious device storage. And that's it. You should now have both your iPhone and iCloud storage under control without spending a dime on extra storage. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical tech tips. I'd love to know which method saved you the most space, so drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.